The District Council of Wakiso met at the administrative headquarters in the town council. Wakiso LC5 chairman Matia Luanga Buanika has been fighting degradation of the environment, especially illegal sand mining, for a long time. Wakiso district councillors who oppose his stand against sand mining accuse him of telling the media that they took bribes from government officials to permit the activity. The councillors said Buanika demeaned their status as people's representatives and demanded an apology before any other discussions could proceed. For me, I, I had the word denial. I didn't have an apology. I didn't say, uh, I'm sorry, I said it's a soma. I said it's a soma. I stand to second the motion of creation of a committee inquiry into the chairperson's conduct and misuse of office by his actions that are well laid. This is not enough. Some of them came to his defense. To kill his head, Baba Yeton, that is to our way. Honorable members, we think after someone apologizes, we should close the chapter. Then life moves on. We have a lot on our table. The speaker, Simon Nsuga, gave Buanika an opportunity to respond. Chairman, you are close. I will take it upon myself to clear that air in subsequent fora. However, some councillors were not content with the chairman's apology and suggested a vote for a commission of inquiry on this matter. Suspense on the previous days of the committee, shall be restored. If any time before the end of the period, suspect, he or she rendered the apology. <laughs> There was drama when Gombe Division Councillor Ronald Kasirivu grabbed the microphone from his colleague to stop him from calling for an impeachment. We can't give them an opportunity to put their committee. It is what they did to Rukwago. These people are very wise. The Speaker adjourned the sitting for the councillors to take decisions on the matter. A representative from each political party would present their findings on return. Some of them engaged Bwanika during the break. When proceedings resumed, Bwanika apologized. <laughs> Speaking to NTV on the sidelines, Bwanika said this will not divert his fight against illegal sand mining. Sand mining is illegal. Whether there is a council resolution by numbers, it is what? In fact, even the council's pronouncement is an illegality. So it is a clear manifestation that there are external forces. But the external forces can be managed. Accusations of illegal sand mining in Wakiso district have been leveled against Chinese company Mango Tree Group Limited. Walter Mwesije, NTV.